C.S. Lewis, The Screwtape Letters, Preface to J.R.R. Tolkien, quote from Martin Luther, The best way to drive out the devil, if he will not yield to text of scripture, is to jeer and flout him, for he can't bear scorn. Quote from Thomas More, The devil, the proud spirit, cannot endure to be mocked. I have no intention of explaining how the correspondence which I now offer to the public fell into my hands. There are two equal and opposite errors into which our race can fall about the devils. One is to disbelieve in their existence. The other is to believe and to feel an excessive and unhealthy, and unhealthy interest in them. They themselves are equally pleased by both errors and hail a materialist or a magician with the same delight. The sort of script which is used in this book can be very easily obtained by any more who has once learned the knack. But disposed or excitable people who might have a bad use of it shall not learn it from me. Readers are advised to remember that the devil is a liar. Not everything that Screwtape says should be assumed to be true, even from his own angle. I have made no attempt to identify any of the human beings mentioned in the letters, but I think it very unlikely that the portraits, say, of Father Sp Spike or the patient's mother are wholly just. There is wishful thinking in hell as well as on earth. In conclusion, I ought to add that no effort has been made to clear up the chronology of the letters. Number 16 appears to have been composed before rationing became serious. But in general, the diabolical method of dating seems to bear no relation to terrestrial time, and I have not attempted to reproduce it. The history of the U European war, except in so far as it happens now and then to impeach upon the spiritual condition of one human being, was obviously of no interest to Screwtape. C.S. Lewis, Magdalene College, July, the 5th of the Year of Grace, 1941.